Father God, I thank you that I will not be seen, but your glory will be seen through your word. And Lord God, let it shine into our hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. In James chapter 1, verses 3 to 5, it says, Knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience, but let patience have its perfect work, that its perfect work would be complete, lacking nothing. If anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives liberally and without reproach. In John chapter 10, verse 22 to 23, it says, Then they came to the feast of dedication at Jerusalem. It was at winter, and Jesus was in the temple area, walking in Solomon's colonnade. This scripture is so fascinating because it is the only time in the Bible that the feast of dedication is mentioned. And we find Jesus walking in the temple in the feast of dedication. The feast of dedication in the Jewish calendar is Hanukkah, meaning the festival of lights and the festival of great joy. It may occur any time between November and the end of December. This festival is observed by lighting candles and even lamps in the homes of the Jewish people. It is a time of illuminating the temple. It is a time where the Jewish people light up the temple. They want it to be bright and shining like never before. And even in their homes, they will light a lamp over this time. They put oil into the lanterns. And in the temple where Jesus was in the mentioned in this festival of dedication, he was lighting the menorah, which is a nine, it's a, it's a candlestick with nine branches, and it is filled with oil. In John chapter 8 and verse 12, we read this. When Jesus spoke again to the people in the temple, he said, I am the light of the world, and whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. In Isaiah chapter 52 and verse 1, it says, Awake, awake, and clothe yourself with strength. O Zion, put on the garments of splendor, O city of Jerusalem. And once again, Jesus says in John chapter 9 and verse 5, I am the light of the world. Now take note where Jesus was. If we think about it, in John chapter 10, verse 22 to 23, he was in the temple during the Feast of Dedication. At this time of year in Jerusalem, it is winter. It is a cold time of year. It is a cold and dark time of year. Here in South Africa, we're having our hot, hot summers. We're having the longest day of the year, was just the other day, the summer and the winter solstice. Well, during this season, during the coldest time of the year, Jesus walked in the darkness, in the temple, and in the cold, and he brought the light. And to me, if this season that we faced through this year of so many hard and dark times, Jesus has been the light, and Jesus has been the hope. Let me make you look even deeper into this amazing scripture we see how Jesus prophetically lights those candles, saying that he is the light of the world. And Jesus is even more than that. He is the light and the life. The light of life. The light of the world. Bringing not only light into the temple, but light into our homes and light into our lives as well. Whoever follows Jesus will not walk in darkness but he will have the light of life. I will also let you look a little deeper into this scripture with me. When you bring light into the world, it is not just light. When you bring Jesus, it is the light of life. Who is Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ is our Messiah. 
Have you illuminated your home with the Messiah, with the light of life, with the life of the light of Jesus? Let there be great rejoicing in your homes. Let there be great rejoicing in your churches. Let there be great rejoicing in the earth because truly the light has come. Arise and clothe yourself with strength and clothe yourself with, with hope in this dark world. My friend, when you let the light of the world, the light of life, come in, there will be an illumination of joy, even in the wintry times, even in the troubled times, even in the times of trial. Let Jesus illuminate your heart with so much love, life, and light. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Draw strength from God. God has been our strong tower of strength against the enemy, according to Psalm 61 verse 3. Lord, you are our source. You are our shield. I say out loud, you are our shelter in the times of trouble. You hide and protect us away from the enemy. You lead us beside the still waters and you restore our soul. You comfort us even in dark times. You are our very present help in the times of trouble. There is no one like you in all the earth. Heaven bows down to you, Almighty God. The name of the Lord is great and we will submit to the name of the Lord. No one can compare to the light and the life that of the salvation that God has given us. O oh God, your throne sits high above the storms that are on the earth right now, and you shield us in with your righteous right hand. You are our King, and we surrender to you. Now this is my declaration over you this afternoon. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that has risen up against you in judgment, condemn it in the mighty name of Jesus, who is the bearer of life and light. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Their righteousness is before me, says the Lord. Every demonic stronghold will come crashing down in the mighty name of Jesus. Weapons that have been fashioned and formed against the earth in the bellies of hell to be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Where if hell wants to vomit out diseases and death and destruction, let the church stand in the gap, arise and speak out the light of God. When you speak the name of Jesus, you dismiss the devil from any opportunity in your life. Because there is power in the light life of Jesus. Do not fear and let faith rise up inside of you like never before. God is with you. God is your shield. He is protecting you even today from the devices and the ploys and the plots of the enemy for you. I cause every plot and plan to fall flat on its face and, and absolutely be destroyed over your life in the name of Jesus. The Lord will protect you. The Lord will guard you. The Lord will keep you from any adversities and from the way the, the, the wicked one. I command a hedge of protection to be around about you now, a ring of fire in heavenly places. I pray that the angels of the Lord will stand around the righteous and no evil thing will come near your dwelling place. I pray for protection and for, for, for provision and you might be standing on the end of the old year, looking into the new year, thinking what is going to happen next year? What is going to happen tomorrow? Well, you know what? We don't know about tomorrow, but I know that Jesus holds tomorrow and that he holds our hand. So let Jesus be the one to take your hand and guide you out of 2020 and into 2021, knowing that each step, each step is the place that you walk in the light and the love of God. His provision will surround you in the mighty name of Jesus. 
and according to his great glorious power, his Holy Spirit is with you to guard you, to guard you, to protect you and shield you in. If you have come to this place in your life right now, that you want to accept this light and this love into your heart, I just want you to pray this prayer along with me. Father God, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you forgive me for any sin in my life. Father God, I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and that you raise him up from the dead and that he is seated with you in heavenly places. And Lord Jesus, I ask you now to come into my life. Be the light that will help me to guide the way ahead. In the mighty name of Jesus, and we just lift our hands. And I just want to thank you, God, if there's anybody out there that is not feeling well, that any disease will leave your body now. In the mighty name of Jesus, that healing and anointing and strength will flow into your life. Father God, I thank you that the children of Zion are going to awake and rise up and put on the shield of faith and the armor of God. And Lord Jesus, we just thank you. We just praise you and we just worship you for everything that you have done and everything that you're going to do. And we just say that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Let's tell the world about, let's tell them all about, let's tell the world about our King. He's my Savior and my Redeemer. Let's tell.